Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about percentiles for numbers in a data set. So I'll share my computer screen with you. <laughs> Find the percentiles for 58 and 25 from the following data set. So you see the data have, has set has already been arranged from the lowest to the highest. That means it has been arranged in the ascending order. Okay. So we are asked to find the percentile for 58. We look at the numbers below 58 in the data set. We count how many numbers are below 58 in the data set. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So 18 numbers are below 58 in the data set. So the formula for finding the percentile position, let me sign the percentile position, percentile position is x plus 0 0.5y divided by divided by n, whole thing is multiplied by 100 to give you the percent position. So what is x? x is the number of numbers below 58 in this case, okay? Which is equal to, we counted, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So number of numbers below 58 is 18 in the data set. And then what is y? So y is equal to how many times 58 occurs? And so y is 1. Since 58 occurs only once. In the data set, in the data set. So, if I plug it back to find the percentile position, percentile, it is equal to x is 18 plus 0 0.5 times y is 1 divided by n. Now, <clears throat> n it is, uh, if you count n sample size, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So n is 29. And the whole thing is multiplied by 100. So this becomes equal to 18 plus 0.5 divided by 29, whole thing multiplied by 100, which is equal to 18.5 divided by 29, multiplied by 100. So, uh, let's do the counting. It's 18.5 divided by 29, and then multiplied by 100. So, this is 63.7 percentile. So, percentile is percentile A of 58 is equal to 63.7, which we round it up to 68 percentile. What does it mean? It means 68 percent of the numbers are below 58, are below 58 in the data set. 58 in the data set. The percentage of the okay. So that is the meaning of 68th percentile being the position of 58 in the data set.
next uh, we are required to find out for 25 so what i will do is i'll create some more data uh, space actually i'll keep it like this okay and i'll also change the color of the pen uh, so make it say, red okay. and then i'll cut so, so use the same formula the percentile position percentile position is x plus 0 0.5 y divided by n whole thing is multiplied by 100 percent okay so here how many numbers are below 25 so percentile position percentile position for 25 in the data set is x how many numbers are below 25 which is 3 3 plus 0 0.5 y is 25 appears only once in the data set divided by n n is 29 whole thing is multiplied by 100 so this is 3.5 divided by 29 times 100 and 3.5 multiplied by 100 divided by 29 is 12.06%. What does it mean? So 25 number 25 number 25 is the 12th percentile 12th percentile so we round it down to the next adjacent number which is 12 12th percentile again what does it mean 12 percent of the numbers are below 25 in the data set of the numbers are below 25 in the data set in the data set that's what is the meaning of 12th percentile okay so 25th is in the 12th percentile this is the 12th percentile okay so i will stop here today if you have a comment please write me a note i'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please let your friends know about it. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. See you next time when I come back with another problem, another solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you.